So the new iPhone has a fingerprint scanner. Exactly how secure is that? Anthony here for DNews, and biometric fingerprint scanners like the one in the iPhone aren't new. They've been used in military and industrial security for a long time. You can get them on a lot of computers, but it's still kind of a novelty on everyday devices. Fingerprints are crazy things. All these little ridges are super important to your sense of touch, but they're also a really unique form of identification. Even identical twins don't have the same fingerprints because small differences in pressure in the womb actually cause them to be different, which makes the idea of of having a fingerprint scanner on your phone, a really nice one, all of your personal information protected by the one type of identification you have that can't be forged. But here's the thing, you could have the same fingerprints as someone else, we just haven't come across a case of the matching yet. It would be hard to run a completely scientific study on whether it's true that fingerprints are unique because you would need every fingerprint from every person in the world to be 100% sure, but we can safely say that they are unique enough to protect your selfies and your sexts. A capacitive fingerprint scanner is a sensor made of tons of tiny cells, like smaller than the ridges on your fingertips tiny, which makes sense because those sensors use the flow of electricity to see where your fingerprints are coming into contact with the sensor. It's a lot like the touch screen on the iPhone now, but much more sensitive. Other fingerprint scanners are optical, meaning they take a high resolution photo of your fingerprint and compare it to what they have on file. Fingerprint scanners have to take a lot into account, smudging, dirt, all kinds of things that might give a false positive or negative. So they don't tend to try to match every single piece of a fingerprint every time. Once it stores your initial print, the software in the scanner looks for things like where specific ridges split into two or where your central swirl is. It actually takes note of where all the distinguishing details are in comparison to each other and makes a sort of map of landmarks on your fingerprint. And then it looks for matches to those defining characteristics every time you touch your finger to the scanner. And depending on the level of security needed for the situation, it'll need more matches to unlock. So can you fool a fingerprint scanner? Yeah, uh, optical scanners can get tricked sometimes by a nice high resolution picture of a fingerprint. A capacitive one like the iPhones would need a 3D mold of the fingerprint. If someone stole your finger at the same time as your iPhone, they could get into it no problem. Not that I'm trying to give anyone any ideas. Anyway, at really secure facilities, the scanners can actually check to see if the finger's still alive and attached to a body. So there's that. The combination of a fingerprint scanner and the ability to make wireless payments is making a wallet and credit cards and maybe even ID cards a thing of the past. I love the idea of the simplicity, but I lose and break phones too often to like that, I think. Plus, the scary thing about all-in-one identification is that when someone does manage to hack it, it's much harder to prove identity theft and get your stuff back. So, 50-50 good to spooky ratio, in my mind. Let me know how you feel about it down below and subscribe for more D-News.